you know, I often give this example of a child learning how to use bicycle. So what do parents do? They get a four-wheeler. <laughs> Children get four-wheeler first. <laughs> and they have two big wheels and on the side they're supporting wheels so child won't fall down. See? Afterward what happens? Parents would remove this supporting wheels and they'd be on two wheels. Then you hold the child and you you know carry the child up to a block or so. And then child would get angry on you, Dad, leave me alone. And <laughs> Independence starts very early, you know. And then you leave him alone and he falls. Dad, it's all your fault. You let me down. But anyway, this is how we learn. Many times we fell, bruised our knees and learned how to bicycle. Simple thing like that. A time comes when you need no one's help. You're on your bike going to school going with your friends on a bike, singing away songs. You, sometimes you let lose your hands and cycle is going on its own. You see how we have moved from so much of effort and then it became effortless. Spirituality, I think, also requires a lot of efforts in the beginning, but once it becomes your nature, then everything becomes automatic. It becomes your reflect action, as they say. While eating, you won't have to make a sankalpa that I'm eating in the remembrance of God. No, it will simply happen. 